Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Expeditions Viking. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in a camp as uh, I try to um, to sleep and fix up everybody. And more importantly, I need to fix Kettle's moderate laceration uh, because look at what I got over here. Uh, I'm gonna show you if I go into heal. Uh, so the injury is already being assigned, but the thing is, if you don't treat your patient before reaching this point, you must suffer the consequences, which in most cases are death or permanent injuries. So I really don't want that to happen. That's gonna reduce his endurance. No, that reduces his endurance. Uh, so yeah, basically, Seekthorn is gonna look after him. We're gonna use a little bit of our herbs. She's gonna making. Uh, she's gonna be making witchcraft. Uh, Ketil still have as a uh, available shifts, but the reason for that is because he's terrible at doing everything else. So I can I can do that. Yeah, the guarding is really not gonna help. Uh, the security is not really great either. This is dangerous territory, so he might be attacked in the night. And yes, I know it yields no results. Shut up. And uh, I have things that I need to destroy as well. But we'll, I'll look into that off camera because looking through the inventory is a little bit weird. Well, not really weird. It's just it's weird to me because I, I, I unfamiliar. Unfamiliar is the word. It's it's kind of a similar thing. So let's make camp. And they do their thing. Doing some healing, I suppose, or resting or something. And there we go. It's now healthy. Amazing. And uh, we lost 29 medicine, 9 rations, and 6 herbs. Good. We also got all the scouting, which is very important. And that's actually what I was looking for. Uh, so let's see. We got a one hour over here, so that goes. Uh, let's go over there. I, I am curious to see what that is all about. So let's go over here. And we got Caltrops. Oh, so that's what it is. Okay, it's not too amazing. Yeah, so... Ooh, the faint, sickly, sweet stench of carrion hangs in the wind. We're going to the marsh, and uh, that's where... Apparently they say lantern men are there, but I don't really know what a lantern man is. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully not, maybe, because it sounds like it's a terrible demon or something. But ahead, you see the dark forms of crows flapping eagerly against the pale sky. As you approach, you find signs of battle and blood-soaked soil. Several bodies litter the area, and the dark birds have begun their feast. Um, let's stay and investigate. You decide to search the area with raised voices, uh, with raised yeah, with raised voices and flailing arms. You chase away the crows, the crows who take wing with rackiness protest. Then you set about your grim task. Though you search for a while, you find little to implicate who these warriors w once were. You do, however, think that uh, you might be able to salvage some of their arms and armor, lest the elements claim good steel and sturdy, supply, uh, sturdy hide. Ruskva dusts off her hands and uh, looks at you, bros brow furrowed. If you're thinking of to take from the dead, you would do well to remember the whites, she says. All that we see here belongs to them. Take it if you wish, but do not steal. Uh, okay, thank you for your warning. Let's uh, scavenge believe an offering. You uncover an intact piece of equipment, worn but serviceable. As payment to the spirits of the land, you leave an offering to silver of silver behind. Okay, so how much was that? Uh, ten valuables, and I received hide armor. Speaking of which, let's see. Yeah, uh, basically, I really need to equip, uh, equip armor because not everybody has it. <laughs> um, especially these guys, especially her. Uh, but not just her. Let's see. So she has eye armor over there, cloth armor. That's not too bad, and that re does not reduce her movement. To be honest, I really would rather you have, I don't know, range damage reduction. Is I mean, this is probably good for him instead, and I'm gonna do that like that. It's a little bit crazy. Also, we need to repair some of our stuff, but uh, yeah. So that's that. Vinger Vigunder's sling. Let's see if you like that. You probably don't. Uh, so that's probably gonna stay around. Does anybody need a ranged weapon or something that they're not comfortable with? I mean, you could go for that. That, that wouldn't be too too much of a problem. Do you need two hands for the sling? I wonder. Uh, okay, you're good. And she has a sling over there, a hemp sling. But she's staying with me not for too long, so I, I don't really know. Uh, and we got the male biter over here, the beautiful, beautiful male biter. Uh, especially for you, mister. And it is indeed a fantastic weapon. Uh, let's put it over there, and let's use the uh, Blood Ice. Pfft, just good names, good names. I, I, I'm sure they sound a little bit better uh, in the original in the original language. Uh, so these over here are not that great. Does anybody have a shield? You do. Uh, that's considerably better than that thing. So put it over there. Uh, and do you want any of these? That's better. A Pine Shield is better than your shield. 
Really? Okay, put it over there. I wonder... Yeah, but that one is still better as well. No, wait a minute. So the pine shield is 2%, this one is 1%? Oh, I see. That's why. That's why. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Um, it's, yeah, the, the comparison is a little bit weird. And we got the rest of the stuff over here that I'm probably going to throw away, like the pitchfork and all the rest of the stuff. But I'm going to take, as I said, I'm going to take care of that off camera. So that was a good place to go to. Uh, I think having a lot of scouted areas is a good thing for us just to get things as we go. But it's not really too amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, over here, what do we need to have? Uh, so, Idis is coming with me for the uh, for the thing over there, for the for the the other thing. So, everybody's gonna come with me except for Idis. So, let's do it like this. Hopefully, good things happen. And hopefully, this is a small loading screen. It should be because Hebe was pretty huge, and that that was why it loaded for, for so long. But oh, we're here. So the whites are not gonna attack us. Whatever that is. I, want, I do want... It probably the, the only downside to that would be just morale lost for, for everybody, maybe, or for some people. Uh, we have uh, the bones of a bear, or it looks like a bear. We have a dead person over here, or the body of a person. What is that? The body of a young woman in the clothes of a thrall. She appears to have floated down the creek until she landed here. Uh, yeah. So, it's still the middle of the night. It's always the middle of the night in this game. I'm fine with that, but... It's... I like seeing things. It's not that I can't see things, but still. Okay. I like the, the nice sun in my back. I, but then again, it might be because of the time. Uh, and I hope it is. But I don't know if there's a day-night cycle in this game. Uh, so, there we go. I mean, we didn't spend too much time on the road. Or sleeping, so I'm not really sure how that goes. So, just getting good stuff out of here and see if I can go over there. I cannot. This place does not look healthy. What is that? And I think we found our first thing. Let's not go there immediately, or let's. Ketil holds up his hand abruptly, signaling a halt. Quiet. Look there. Just ahead. There are fresh grooves in the mud, and even untrained eyes can pick out the tracks of a sizable group. Just ahead, you hear the sound of voices, and see the glint of firelight through the trees. Uh, let, we should announce ourselves. Let's go. Because I'm crazy like that. Uh, also, should save the game. Hello? Oh. You count more than ten people in the group. As you approach, however, you notice that four of them are clapped in chains and under guard. Their shoulders are hunched in defeat and their eyes full of fear. Several sets of hard eyes look up at you as you enter the clearing. Hence find their way towards weapons, and most of them begin to rise warily. Look at their shields and garb, Sigthorn, says Nephia. These are schoolers men. A large man... Yep. A large man with a jagged claw mark on his chin steps forward. He seems to eye you and your companions much as a hunter appraising his prey. Who are you to walk into this camp uninvited? We've no hospitality for you to beg. Um. Then school sent us. Hmm. Do I want to do that? I do. My finesse is not really great, and yeah, my sense is. I'm still gonna fail, but let's see what happens. You deliver your spiel with such conviction that you almost end up believing it yourself. You explain that Skule wants his best people out in the field, and if they let you take the thralls back to yelling, that's exactly where these hunters can be. The large man bl man's bluster flounders for a moment. He... What? Mm, says Osk. Who's this guy? If Skule does recognize us as his best men, Gester, uh, then we should stay in the field, right, Osk? He asks. Well, let this one run the errand for us. That's right, Gaster. Go on, then. Take the boar and thralls back to, to, yelling, uh, to yelling. Tell Skull that, um, he'll, that we'll renew the hunt. Finish your meal, boys. We're packing up. And they're off. So, we completed the quest. We got, hopefully, thralls, because we're going to take them. Uh, unless they're, I mean, I, I don't want to mistreat them. I just want them to do my crap for me. Especially, actually, this is very important. Uh, we need to go, we need to click over here because we have upgrades to do. Now that we actually have thralls. But before I do that, I probably should figure out if these guys can become mine. Thank you. They captured us and beat us. We're, we're going to drag us, we, we're, they were going to drag us away to serve as thralls. Yeah, you may serve in Skarn instead. Serve well. 
It'd be a shame to see see good thralls go to waste, says Asliver. The young man's face sets in a bitter mask. The gods are cruel. To grant a hope and then dash it as a ship tossed against the shore. Are they cruel? Are they really? A few minutes later. I suppose they're gone? Yeah. Why didn't they... Hmm. I wonder why they didn't do with the... Uh do with those as they did with the other ones. Oh, because, you know, it wouldn't make as much sense because the trolls wouldn't go back to Ske to Skielig uh, or whatever uh, uh, on their own. So, yeah, it makes sense. that Something needed to happen there, and we don't know what it was because we don't know how we got the trolls, but now we have trolls. So that's good. Uh, stick that. Let's keep an eye over here. I should have done this a little bit better as well. I, there, you can stop at the map, and you can do this in the map, but, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see. That's for, for Prosperity. It's going to take... One week and one day with three thralls? Come on, how many thralls can you... Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a stronghold or a meat hall. And it's for power or prosperity. Uh, my prosperity is pretty good. Power is probably going to be important. I, I mean, I'm not... I, I, I don't really think I care for that, but it's important to not let our... You know, to just show power is important. Uh, we got a, a plus two power and plus 50 valuables weekly. Hmm... So I suppose that's better done early. And that's pretty fast. Hopefully, three days to build the folk moot and the prosperity for the market. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the folk moot over here. Although I, I'm not really sure if that's that's a good thing. It is a thing. The hearth of your homestead. I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean actually thing, but yeah, anyway, we have a moor over here that gives us plus two uh, prosperity, plus four rations per week. Uh, but that's uh, that's the sacrificial box, so we need to spend the rations per week, right? Is that what it is, or is it something else? We got the blacksmith, of course, salvage per week right there. That's a little bit better. I think I like that. We do need to sp spend salvage, but we're gonna need the salvage. Uh, I'm pretty sure. And we have the farms that we built. We have the Palisades that increase power. Is that fast? Yeah, probably Palisades are the things that we need the most, so let's go with that. Uh, and yeah, we can't, we can't, um, unfortunately, we can't upgrade more stuff. So we can only upgrade one little bit at a time. That's okay. That's how the game plays. That's how the game plays. Let's continue. Uh, we have a little stash right there. It's a good thing I noticed that, otherwise I, I, would, I was going to screw up. The wind howls through the skeletal trees, chilling you to... Uh, no, I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about noticing the upgrades of the... Of the of the homestead, or not the homestead, but you know, of, of skill, skilling, whatever, but our town. Uh, the wind howls through the skeletal trees, chilling you to the bone. Darkened shapes loom o ominously in the night, and the pungent stink of rotting leaves and stagnant water hangs heavy in the air. Ahead, a wavering light shines through the gloom. It wavers and flickers, its light fl f filtering through the trees. Then, a large shape suddenly moves across it. Something big and misshapen. Sigthorn! Did you see that? There's something out there, says Catil. Shh! Don't be ridiculous. No, that's something else. Is she saying... Hmm. That's Nephia. The spirits of this march call dark things to their service, says Rosqua. We tread in a realm of monsters and should watch our step. Listen to her, Sigthorn. Let's go back in the morning. Let's come back in the morning. Step forward, I say, says Gunnar. I always wanted to slay a giant. I hope he's fat and slow. More for my axe to bite into. That, that makes me feel a bit better, says Catil. We can escape while they eat, Gunnar. Can we just move on, please, says Nephia. Yeah, we're gonna move on, uh, Nephia. We're gonna move on. We need to look for uh, the troll tree. They're aggressive, but they don't seem to be trolls. I wonder if these are the guys that... The light that we saw. Hello? I would like not to trigger combat with me just standing so close to you. Three hunched shapes sit huddled around a roaring fire pit. They are unnaturally large, and their features hideously misshapen. Rusqua pales her voice a trembling whisper. Giants? Gunnar's grin is fierce, and you can almost hear his meaty fists clench around the haft of his weapon. Giants! The largest among them points towards you. Look at this, brothers, says Amar. Little people drawn to our fire, says Berger. Lost in the woods on a dark, dark night, says Duidi. They have beautiful, awesome names that I can pronounce. And they have a very beautiful green, lovely field on a, with a thing over there. Um, let's, uh, yeah, hail Oxale. It's awfully cold tonight. Uh, might we share your fire? 
the flickering fire firelight uh, the flickering firelight casts scream shadows on the on his ugly face of burger you might it's so easy when they come right to us says Duidi. come brothers let us make them feel welcome well they started it they really did so it's not my fault I kind of wanted to save these guys uh, but then again I am not in a good position to um, to mess around too much. Uh, so we have a bottleneck over here that we can use to our advantage. These guys don't seem to... Yeah, they don't have ranged weapons. Uh, so that's good. Uh, so this bottleneck, I am gonna... Yeah, just gonna position two guys over here. Uh, you, unfortunately, are gonna need to move. So you're... Oh, there's there's a beehive up there. That I can attack? I think I'd rather not. Uh, so I could cripple them. That That's also a thing. Uh, especially that guy up, th up there. So I'm gonna try... Let's see. Cripple. Attack action. So if I use this... Well, I can't hit him. 0% chance to hit. Why? T take that away. Because behind cover. Oh, it's the it's the line of sight. Yeah, so that's the only guy that I can cripple. And I'm going to try to. Uh, let's see. Negates distance penalties to hit the chance. That's not really an issue. Uh, the ranging shot and the tactical move and the interrupt. Uh... Let's go with the inter. Let's 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 shoot the wolves. I mean, they're gonna be nasty. Okay, so he resists the Harried. We're gonna be able to do. Oh, we can't attack that. Okay, so that guy doesn't get the ranging shot. That's fine by me. There we go. All of them get spotted. Now, uh, I need you to see if you can shoot something. Oh, we do have line of sight, which is awesome. Because we're going to be able to shoot the wolves as well. And I'm going to try and go for... Yeah, I can only shoot that guy and then somebody else. Yeah, Give up while it. you can still say I yield! Mm-hmm. I wonder if I want to go with lethal on these guys. I really do. Yeah, they're aggressive, so might as well. Might as well. No, he deflected. Okay. Okay, my good sir. You're going to get a spotted there. So we can hit you a little bit better. And we're going to go with fast shots all over the place. Okay, so he's spotted. Good, good, good. So you stay back here. Uh, so Nephia, uh, you're nope. You're gonna need. Uh, so we are gonna have basically you two guys at the front, uh, and that's gonna be that up there. And you're gonna have a char not a charge. What's the other one? What's the prepare? You have a prepare, right? Uh, Perry, cleave, make an attack. No, don't you? Tears favor. He should have. And we have. Uh, Baldur's favor. All Norse allies get the status centered, which increases uh, the physical resistance, or the physical resistance is 100%, whatever that means. Um, kick, up, I don't really know what that means. Uh, yeah, the interrupt. It's for the ranged weapon. I really thought he had. He's got the charge. Hmm. Shield hook. Hmm. Parry. Activates parrying. Oh. Ah, so that's the defense. So base defense rating, is that what it is? Yeah, it's doubled. Character gains a free counterattack. Uh, so he gets the counterattack, which is decent. Um, and you are the one that I actually wanted over there because you have this, the ready, which is awesome. There we go. And then uh, you can stand back here. So if they come this way, they're going to... They, they, it's going to hurt. Uh, and you're going to... I wonder what I can do over here. Cover... A puff ball would be a nice thing, but it all, it's only it's not really cover for what I want it to be. So, yeah, let's bring you over there so you don't don't get hit. Uh, let's, so that guy. Hmm. Yeah. How much damage was it gonna be? Cause I. Hmm. Uh, and Nephia, what can you do? Oh, you can do good things. Do you have an already or something? Hmm. Oh wait a minute! Attack a target three X's away, but at seventy five percent damage. That's amazing. <laughs> so. Normally she attacks two hexes away, so that's one. That's awesome. I, I wish I had that in Battle Brothers, <laughs> but no. Uh, okay, so that's good for right now. Let's see what they decide to do. Of course, the wolf is gonna go around and is gonna attack Catil, but that's expected. And that actually should have been more expected than it was. This guy's coming this way. Uh huh. And he gets the counter attack even though he doesn't have reach. And she has extend. Oh, they're coming this way. Okay, so that's less than ideal. Uh, you can attack him, and hopefully, yeah, well, you're gonna do a critical damage. But what I should do is I should actually do this: an overhead attack. No, actually, what is it? Uh, pull the opponent's shield away, making them exposed. That's the stuff right there. 
So he's exposed right now. I can't attack, uh, but she can, and she's gonna do critical damage. Uh, oh, you messed with the wrong woman. That wasn't very good, but it was okay. It was okay, not too bad. Uh, now you're gonna go on in and you're gonna kill, and it's gonna be awesome because that guy doesn't have a shield. That was really good. So he parried, and he get got the counter. Yeah, that was that was really nice. Uh, okay, so you can't really attack. Uh, I don't think. I can, though. I'm gonna try. Let's see. That's a 44%. That is awful. Awful right there. Okay, so I'm gonna move you out of there because you're terrible. Just, I, how am I so bad? Sigthorn, why are you so bad at this? He should be decent. Is it because of finesse? Or because of his shield or something? Oh, no, no. It's, it's taking into account the thing. It didn't used to, did it? Okay, that's fine. So it was it was really a bad decision on my part to Oh. <laughs> and they got, got the counter. It's still the same attack. Good, good, good. It was a bad decision on my part to not take into account that they could go around that little that little buff of things. Oh, she's gonna be attacked by the wolf. That's not gonna be a problem. But this guy is. He's gonna sling. Oh. Oh well. That's counter. Ooh, absorbing. Good. Ouch. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, okay, so this guy, unfortunately, is kind of behind that, and that is a problem. I would like to get a kill in there, but that's going to be unlikely. Uh, that said, I am going to shoot it with this. 95. Yeah, that's going to be a kill. Okay. So, basically, we go for the wolf first, so she can do this. Ah, with a critical. Yeah, Very nice. I know how to fight! Indeed Surprised? Mm-hmm. Let's do the poison on you. So, yeah, I wanted to do that, actually, the first turn, but I, I couldn't. For some reason, I, I really couldn't. Uh, then you are going to go with a quick shot on whoever you can. We got a 90% chance to hit over there. No percent chance to hit this guy. He's not going to be able to absorb much damage. Actually, he doesn't do that. That's That was a stupid idea by me. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I... I, I stupid idea. What I should have done is I should do... Should have done this before and then attack him. That was that so easy. That is so easy. So easy. Oh man. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Well, I'll learn. I will learn. It's it's still early game, so I'm all of my shenanigans here will not be too bad. What are you doing? Demoralizing or tears might or something. Okay, that's flanked. So he's down. Okay, so that guy's down. It's gonna be fine. Shh, it's fine. Okay, so you're gonna die pretty soon. Not gonna be an issue because we can hit very accurately. There we go. And the guys, yeah, I think we're, we should be fine. Uh, let's see if I can go with a heavy swing on. Oh, wait a minute, there's, there's many guys. Hmm. Well, if I could kill you, I can't. But now he can't absorb, so we really need this skill. Uh, let's see if I can kill you here. Good. I failed you. Yeah, sure. Uh, and now I can shoot that guy. Hopefully, fifty-nine percent. Okay, it's not too bad. I could kill him. It's unlikely, but it's fifty-nine percent. I got the kill. Oh my god, that was good. That was good. Uh, it was not as good as it could have been, but it was good still. Okay, so this guy is disentangled himself. You fight well. But you won't bring me down. No, I, I will. That's precisely how I fight. So you're gonna die. Right there. Oh, he dies already. Good. Okay, there we go. And some of them survived as well. Hopefully I didn't get any injuries. And oh, no, of course I did. Of course I did. <gasps> I did not. I did not. The high armor did broke did break a little bit over there. That's not an issue. I'm gonna repair it pretty soon. We need to repair, but that's on the next camp. Um and uh, the monsters in the marsh in the marsh have now been killed. Yeah, that's that. The mysterious dis disappearances are fixed. Ooh, Owling Witch. What is that? Is that a two-handed... A broad... Sh uh, the broad shape of this axe head makes an unsettling whine as it cuts through the air. That, well, uh, it's not unsettling. It's amazing. It's what it is. It's amazing. But, of course, if you associate it with death and terribleness, then it is not as amazing. Uh, but I, I understand. So we got a little bit of tar over there. 
And these guys have their own houses. That's why I wanted to be friendly. But they clearly didn't want to be. So, screw them, right? Just, screw them. They even crashed my game and my recording software. Uh, but as I found before, it only crashes after the game crashed. So, it's not a big deal. Because um, that's not... That has happened before as well. Uh, now, you, sir, can I... Can I use your pot? Oh, that's the thing below the pot, I believe. It's probably not... Oh! Oh, I clicked the wolf. Ah, sure. Okay, so that thing cannot be clicked, unfortunately. And we can go... Oh, there's another thing over here. Oh, so these So, <laughs> do we believe in lantern men? We don't, right? Uh, Ghost lights that lure travelers to their doom? Old wives' tales. Sure. I've seen them sometimes. When I go into the marshes for herbs. No, don't encourage him. <laughs> My grandma used to say, lantern men mark the location of a treasure buried underwater. If we spot any lights in the marsh, I say we send Gona to look for treasure. I say I go with him, because I want treasure. Why, doesn't, why don't you want treasure? Everybody wants treasure. Oh, we're going in. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll take you up on that. But I get to keep what I find. <laughs> See? Gunnar wants treasure. Okay, so... I have, I'm going in a new direction. Because I'm going backwards with my camera. It's not something I... I wish you could zoom out a little bit more sometimes. Uh, it's not something I'm very comfortable with right now. So let's go... Yes, yes. Horns in the soundtrack. Let's go in here. And these guys had three beds. See, they were giant. They were normal people. Just misunderstood. They probably were brothers or something. Uh, probably not even misunderstood. They were just actually very well understood. They wanted to kill everybody that came across them. The pile is a jumbled heap of assorted valuables. Brooches, rings, and bolts of cloth. Even the odd figurine. They glitter invitingly in what meager light filters through uh, the filthy windows. Because those things don't exist over there. Ketil eyes the pile. Would you look at that, he says. Wipe the saliva from your mouth, says Nephia. That must belong to the people who disappeared in the marsh. Uh. Yeah, well, it won't do any, any anyone any good here. I, I say we take it. Yeah. And, uh, we didn't lose any morale. Really? Nobody lost morale. Nephia, you're growing up. Thank you for trusting me. I don't know if that was actually a show of trust or not. Probably wasn't. Anyway, we're out of time for the day, so um, let's continue exploring the marshes on the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Expeditions Viking. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching and for still being with me after almost 20 episodes. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.